for the longest time, all these big tech companies have been claiming they're going to do drone delivery, but I don't know, it seems like they're slacking. I'm looking around, I don't see no drones. Come on, it can't be that hard. I've been dropping stuff off of my airplanes and drones for forever. Like shuttles, Christmas trees, planes, beer, humans, RC cars, action figures, poppets. So today we're setting out to show all the big tech companies how it's done. I've assembled a team of the brightest minds of our generation to help solve this problem. Ethan, wake uh, up. Huh? You want to uh, be on my drone team? Yeah. I need okay. a software developer. I could develop. Hey Colin, you want to be right. on my drone team? I don't really have any experience with drones. Hmm, well you seem to have pretty good finger dexterity, so I think you'd be useful. Alright, let's do it. Drone team assemble! The team got to work tirelessly gathering supplies and building out the nation's first network of drone delivery infrastructure, piece by piece. Colin, what's your favorite food? Milk. <laughs> State-of-the-art drone technology was retrofitted to integrate the team's custom-designed delivery mechanisms and task automation software. Oh, let's turn it on. The team persevered through relentless technical challenges. I think you jogged the stick in the corner. Oh, jog sticker corner. I think that's, yeah, that's, the, this... that's what's happening here. I don't know what I did, but... Not only was it capable of a static hover, but also high-speed forward flight for maximum efficiency and range. Are you impressed? I think it could hold more than one hot dog. Send it! Wow! Okay, go for three hot dogs. Oh, wow! After weeks of development, version one of the system they created was ready for its final engineering validation test before being mass-produced on a global scale. Hello. Yes. Is this Daniel's milk delivery service? Yes. Yes, I'd like some milk, please. How soon would you like the milk? As soon as possible. We're on it. Boy, oh boy, I love milk. <laughs> Let this be a warning to companies spamming me to do product review videos on their cheap toys. The video, if actually created, may or may not include milk porn. But in all honesty, this little airplane exceeded my expectations. After using it for delivery, I ended up putting the DJI FPV on it, which was pretty cool. So stay tuned for that. But first, here's some more footage of the action from the milk delivery day. There's a lot of slop on those motors. They're pretty wiggly. <laughs> Does this one move too? No. Well, that one's fixed and these two pivot up. As the picture showa, snai me jog sticker corner to start stop motors. We got the Insta360 Go 2 camera here, and we're gonna glue it right there. Put a little bit there, a little bit on this side. Alrighty, let's go to the park. Oh, oh, it's so windy. This is like the Hannah Montana of the airplane world. It's got the best of both worlds. Okay, I'm transitioning. Whoa, there it goes. Wow, it's wow, fast. It worked. It's harder to fly in airplane mode. Oh! 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 Coming in and transition. Whoa! Whoa! That was sick. That is really cool. Can you jump straight into horizontal? I'll try it, yeah. I'm gonna transition. One, two, three. Wow, that is the coolest! Oh, and transitioning back.
perfect. It's going to be the most efficient delivery system for milk ever. Straight from goat to drone to colon. Integrated supply chain. That's right. Vertical integration. This is how you make our economy <laughs> 10 times more efficient. Yeah. Still warm. Straight out the titty. <laughs> Nothing like a lot of milk to warm your soul. <laughs> mm. The finest in the land. <laughs> Do you really think goats like licorice? I don't know. It smells like licorice. We're gonna try it. They look a little questionable. I'm gonna find a small one. I don't think they're FDA approved. Oh, that's a big one. I'll break it. They're FGA, Federal Goat Administration. <laughs> they're pretty good. It's like sawdust and licorice. It's just really dry. The flavor is not bad. It's pretty bad. You gonna mow through that whole bag tonight? Yeah. <laughs> This is like the most ironic thing ever, but we actually made this whole video before a cereal company became the sponsor. How weird is that? Last year, I tried cutting simple carbs and sugar out of my diet to see how I would feel, and I actually felt really good. My energy level was much higher and it was much more consistent throughout the day, which was awesome, but eating that way is super difficult to do. And that's where Magic Spoon comes in. They make grain-free cereal that tastes amazing. Yeah, it has zero grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving, and also only 140 calories. I can honestly say that this stuff does not taste like something from the health food aisle. It just tastes like normal breakfast cereal. They offer a four flavor variety pack that includes coca, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. They also offer cookies and cream, maple, waffle, cinnamon, and blueberry. It tastes amazing, and honestly, it seems too good to be true. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. Click on the link below to grab a variety pack and try it today. And be sure to use promo code RCTESTFLIGHT to get $5 off any order. Or go to magicspoon.com slash RCTESTFLIGHT. Now back to the video. Mmm. Two, one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it crashed. It's covered in milk. This is the problem oh. with milk delivery. The rear motor didn't spin up. I think the rear speed controller might be too milky. It's going so <laughs> It tasted like jello, but it was meat meat flavored jello. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at the aspect ratio of that goat. <laughs> it sounds like a ZZ top. <laughs> Got the funniest beard. It's like your mullet but on its chin. They're Nigerian goats. Are these the goats that climb trees? Oh you're pudgy. This is a pudgy little goat. Not the right shape for tree climbing. Yeah, I feel like they're a little too fat for that. Do you think we can deliver a goat via drone? Probably. The whole thing? So I got the DJI FPV on it here, and I want to try shooting some gaps in airplane mode. This is going to be a little risky. Oh, 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 oh that was a bad transition. I did that too low to the ground. Whew. Oh my god. We're in airplane mode. We're doing it. We're zooming. Oh yeah, lens flare. Beautiful sun. My heart is racing. Gotta go down. Come on. Oh, abort. Oh, <laughs> that's the great thing is if you're not lined up right, you can just flip a switch and save yourself. Maybe I'll just fly through this tunnel first. Oh yeah, look at that. I want to fly through this in airplane mode. How sick would that be? Okay, let's try a more graceful transition this time. Much better, okay. Turning the corner. Dodge the light pole. Here we come. Oh, too low, too low. I think I probably only have enough battery for one more try. Okay, making the corner. Got that lens flare again. Lining up, and here we go. Much better path this time. There we go. Woo. 
Ooh, got a truck. <laughs> I'm still in airplane mode, holy shit. <laughs> uh, I was not planning on going through that gap. <laughs> there was totally a branch there. So after that, I had a few pretty more eventful flights. Here we are shooting the gap again and successfully made it. Heck yeah, but now I got to figure out how to turn around in this parking lot. Had to climb really fast. Coming back and then shooting another gap right down a sidewalk. And back through the gap. If you're wondering why there's no one at the park here, it's because it's like 6 o'clock in the morning. Would never endanger any innocent civilians. Just kidding, this plane's not dangerous anyways. It's super lightweight. Came back through this gap, realized I messed up, tried to transition, didn't transition in time, and crashed. Oof. You can fly like a multi-rotor, although it's definitely not as good as a multi-rotor at going through small things and uh, being nimble. But how many drones can you do this with? Flip into vertical mode and fly right straight up the side of a 100-foot cedar tree. That's pretty neat. And then with a single flip of a switch, boom, you turn into an airplane and fly over the top and don't even get stuck in the tree. Coming back, steep dive. Not a very good idea. Too much speed, boom, hit something. Got all squirrely, tried to transition to multi-rotor mode, but got stuck in a tree. Terrible. During the last flight, I broke a wingtip and blew off a control surface. So I repaired the control surface and decided just to cut both of the wingtips off to see if it would fly in pod racer mode. I think it'll fly really well in hover mode still. So I just need to have enough altitude as to where if the transition goes poorly and it can't fly, I can save myself by switching modes. Okay, switching modes. <laughs> that did not work. I'm gonna try it one more time. Oh my god, it's flying. Oh, I don't trust it. <laughs> one more try. Oh boy, okay, I'm in airplane mode. It's doing it. It's flying. It's barely flying. It's definitely oscillating. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. It's oscillating. It just oscillates like crazy. It's overtuned. Oh, and there's not a lot of control. Okay, save me. <laughs> Back into multi-rotor mode. Okay, I'm coming down. Oh, that was pretty dumb. I'm really glad that hover mode was stable enough to save me from the forward flight attempts. Oh, maybe that's why it seemed like it was yawing out of control. So I only have one vertical stabilizer. So to fix the overtuning problem, I cut the control surfaces down a little bit more. And then to fix the tail heavy problem, I glued $300 into the nose. It's the Insta360 Go 2. So uh, we'll see if this works. It'll probably make some interesting footage at the least. Okay, that's pretty high. Let's try this out. Oh my god! It works! Oh, amazing! It flies so much better. Just a little extra weight, that's all you need. Awesome. I guess I shouldn't speak too soon, but it seems to fly a lot better. <laughs> oh, sick! Still oscillating a little bit. Wow. Buzz the treetops, which is a terrible idea. Woo! Sick. Nice view of the city. Oh wow, it's pretty breezy. This is so cool. Okay, I'm gonna come in, dive these cedar trees. Go down to the field. Try and turn around the field. Ooh, look out for that light pole. Still oscillating quite a bit. Okay, let's try and shoot this gap that we were doing the other day. Woo! Here it is. Oh! So close. Oh, so close. Where's the Insta360? Oh no, my camera. Oh, there it is. It's just blending in with the white line. That's hilarious. Oh, I broke a propeller. And that concludes this episode of Torturing Airplanes with Daniel. Thanks for watching. Bye.